G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a surprisingly tricky, innocent looking question for high schoolers, and it goes as follows. How many positive integers, not exceeding 2001, are multiples of 3 or 4, but not of 5? Okay, so I guess this was given in the year 2001, since the number's mentioned, fine. But I'm looking for the multiples of 3 and 4, but not multiples of 5, from the numbers, what, 1, 2, 3, up to, so it says not exceeding 2001, so I guess it go all the way up to 2001. How many of these are multiples of 3 or 4, but not multiples of 5? All right, okay, well, just to get a feel for it, um, I think I kind of know what to do, so I'm going to engage in successful flailing, which means just do some stuff that feels right and hope it all comes together, strategy number one. I'm looking for multiples of three, multiples of three, and uh, you know, very roughly a third of them should be multiples of three. So there should be, uh, what, three, six, nine, up to 2001 is a multiple of three, it's three times something, oh gosh, um, three times 600 is 1800, so that uh, leaves me another 201 to go. 60, uh, uh, two, uh, oh my gosh, 667, am I right? I think that's right. 2001 divided by 3 is 667. There are 667 multiples of 3 in that list. Whew. Multiples of 4, uh, uh, 4, 8, 12, I guess we're up to 2,000. Uh, how many multiples of 4 up to 2,000? So 2,000 divided by 4 is... Uh, Oh, I can do that one. If I had, could do the other one, I can do this one. Divide by 4 is 500. There are 500 multiples of 4 there. And multiples of 5 are the ones I don't want, but I'll just say how many there are. Uh, 2,000 is the multiple of 5. 2,001 is not. 2,000 divided by 5 is uh, 400. There are 400 multiples of 5 in this list. So I want that, want that, don't want that. So I could possibly say, maybe, I'm not sure if this is right, this is me just thinking out loud, so don't, don't, don't take things for, for a word here. I want those, I want those, that's what, 1167 of things I want, minus 400 things I don't want. That could be an answer. The reason why I said I think this is a tricky problem, because that sort of calculation makes me nervous. Because I realize that some things are multiples of both three and four. There's some double counting going on there. I don't think the problem is that simple. In fact, I think I don't have to worry about the multiples of what, uh, 12. Multiples of both 3 and 4. It is multiple of both 3 and 4. It must be multiple of 12. So I have to figure out the multiples of 12. Uh-oh. Multiples of 12. How many multiples of 12 are there amongst the numbers from 1 up to 2001? Oh gosh, all right, so 2001 divided by 12 is not a whole number. Um, that's not a multiple of, well, what is that? I can probably work this out. Uh, divide by 3 gives me 667 over 4. Again, not a whole number. Divide by 2 gives me 3, 3, 3 and a half. That's really bad, uh, which is what, 165, 66 and some fraction? Well, ignoring the fractions, which is not good, it looks like there's 166 multiples of 12 amongst those numbers. All right, so maybe the answer is 667 plus 500, that's 1167. They're the multiples of 3 and 4 with some double counting going on. In fact, each of these guys got double counting, counted. So I need to take off one copy of those. So 667 plus 500 minus 166 must be how many multiples of 3 or 4 there are. Great. Then I want to subtract from that all the multiples of 5. I don't want multiples 5 in this list. And I now think I need to be careful about that too, because in this list are all the multiples of 3 or 4. So I want to get rid of the multiples of 3 and 5, 15, get rid of those, and get rid of the multiples of 4 and 5, which is uh, 20, get rid of all the multiples of 15 and all the multiples of 20 from this list, and I'm nervous about double counting again. Are there anything at multiples of 3 and 4 and 5? Because they would have got counted amongst these and amongst those. So I guess I want to count, take away all the multiples of 3 times 4 and 5, which is multiples of 60. So plus, uh, take away these, take away these, and somehow deal with that. Oh my goodness, there's a lot to think through here. Alright, I'm actually going to pause there because I feel like I need to mull on this one. I guess I should work out this number actually, what this, what this particular sum is, I can do that. Um, that's how many multiples of 3 or 4 there are, but I've got to take off all the multiples of 15, all the multiples of 20, and watch out for double counting. So that's going to take me a while to think about that, I'll put my feet up on the table, stare at the ceiling, think of the best way to handle that, and then do it. 
I invite you to do it too. How are we going to best handle this? In fact, mull on this, get an answer. And when you get an answer, let's compare results. Look at the essay that goes with the video. See if we, you and I get the same answer in the end. This is actually kind of sneaky. Whew, makes my brain hurt, but it's kind of fun. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.